It's my first time here in Jingdezhen. In my home, I've got some porcelain products. Uh, but I know that Jingdezhen has a history of over 1700 years of porcelain and pottery making. So coming here definitely helps me better understand the history and also the lifestyles of the people in ancient times here in this area. I would, I would, I would say this is definitely one of the most amazing concerts. Very short, only 15 minutes, but every instrument is made of porcelain. When I heard them play, I call this ceramic music. It feels very unique. Uh, of course, in this uh, ancient Kaolin Folk Customs Museum, I got to see this oldest way of porcelain making, which I mean everything is handmade, from shaping, trimming, marking, even painting on the porcelain. And I, and, and I see one of those artisans, she has been painting this circle around this porcelain bowl for 40 years. So without any machine, Without any ruler, she just does that, you know, with her hand, with a single brush. Unbelievable. Mr. Liu. So what Mr. Liu is doing is that show you how the bowl can sing. Hold off the bottom of the bowl and then use your index finger deep into the water and then... <laughs> Can you hear the music? No, Of course, it's a must-see attraction in Jingdezhen. I got to see the museum. When I got to the foyer of the museum, I see that uh, those uh, bricks on the facade is quite unique. It's based on the form of ancient kilns. And this museum was built actually adjacent to the ruins of ancient kilns, uh, which were producing porcelain for emperors. Uh, even during the construction of this museum, people found some uh, historical sites or ruins, and so the construction uh, has to make sure that uh, those historical sites were well preserved. I found a place that is quite memorable. It's called uh, Taoyang Li. It's actually a historical district, I would call it, uh, with ancient alleys. And uh, the place has been transformed to integrate um, creative workshops, music bars, bookstores, opera houses. Um, so it's a combination of tradition, history, and modern lifestyles. These ancient alleys here in Jingdezhen are not only for sightseeing. In every shop, every store that you walk into, you can find something about porcelain. Artists here, um, they do creative work like painting, and some are doing repairing work like this one. Uh, this porcelain tray dates back to Ming Dynasty hundreds of years ago. Now she is repairing it. I did. Uh, I don't think. I don't think it was very successful. You know, when I watch people making porcelain, you know, from videos or on TV, I, I, I saw. I thought it was quite easy. But when I was doing that, for real. I found, you know, how much you press the clay, uh, in what position you should hold your elbow. It's a whole new kind of experience. And I think I need more practice if I want to make a one that I'm satisfied with. I get a better understanding. After coming here, now I know porcelain can be very expensive. Um, but it's more than that, you know, it's not just about beautiful cups or uh, mugs. It's really about a great part of Chinese history. It is also something that connects China to the rest of the world. I would say it's a landmark, it's a business card, 
I can't think of a better word. I mean, it's a place to come to see China. <laughs>